I mean, it, insulin is required. It's essential. It's not the demon it's made out to be. It's um, it's a problem when we are in a situation with chronically elevated insulin, as Dr. Ab says. Um, but we can elicit an insulin response via protein, particularly from the amino acid leucine in particular. Um, this is the, the key mediator and activator of, of um, the mTOR pathway, the anabolic pathway. So when we eat, we activate mTOR and we will signal growth anyway. Fasting, by the way, when we're fasted and we're in a state of autophagy, we increase human growth hormone. So we're, we're combating both factors. And interestingly, uh, the, the activation of mTOR via leucine and training direct uh, causes a, a direct activation of mTOR and it doesn't go through this cascade of events that uh, an insulin response would, would achieve. So it's um, it's far less problematic. So when we look at issues of cancers and tumors, for example, uh, these are, are usually uh, as a result of overconsumption of carbohydrate and therefore the activation of mTOR from carbohydrate and insulin. But when it's direct, the activation is, isn't as, as pro prolonged. It lasts typically three and a half to four hours and we can actually um, use this to our advantage. So we can, in, in effect, activate mTOR more times throughout the day uh, by living a ketogenic carnivore lifestyle than one would if we were on high-carb diets. Uh, if you're living this lifestyle, you are not average. You know, we're, we're outside the box. We're extraordinary, if you like, you know. So our ranges may be very different to a person living a high-carbohydrate lifestyle.